I am going to show you how to buy an actual property for no money down. Zero down, no BS. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm James Wise, you're watching Holton Wise TV, and I want to talk about no money down, buying real estate with no money out of pocket. Now, a lot of people talk about this, right? I get it. It sells training, it sells courses, it sells education, okay? But you can actually do it for real. Is it easy? No. And I'm gonna, I want to give you that disclaimer right up front. Let me explain that to you. It is not easy to buy no money down deals. Can it be done? Yes. But you know what? Uh, what else can be done? Hitting uh, freaking 70 home runs in a year can be done. It's been done. But that doesn't mean a lot of people can do it. So I want to give you guys that caveat. Because what I'm going to do is walk you through a real-life deal where I believe we can not only buy the property for no money down, we're going to get the seller to finance the entire thing. And I'm doing this for a guy named Jay. Jay. I just got done filming a couple other videos for you about seller financing. And this one is slightly different because this is a distressed property that requires a lot of repairs. The other two were active rentals. So I think it would have been better for us to offer a decent down payment. This one, I think we stand a chance to try to actually get this for no money down. And real quick, folks, if you like what I'm doing for Jay or what I do for other real estate investors and you want me to do the same thing for you, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. We'll call you, talk to you about your wants, your needs, your goals, what you're trying to accomplish. We'll explain to you our whole process and see if it's a good fit. By the way, if you want all that information without a phone call, click the show notes below. It's all right there. But for you, Jay, this one, I think we could probably try to take this one down with no money down, all right? 1502 Furman Avenue, Cleveland, 44109. It's been on the market a little over a month, 46 days, listed at 99999. <laughs> That's the stupidest price ever. <laughs> this property is not fucking worth $100,000. Like, the seller has got no, like, no, it's just, it's not, okay? It's not a horrible property, but it's just not worth $100,000. Like, there's, like, no scenario where this particular property will ever sell in a regular arm's length transaction for $100,000 unless the seller offers owner financing, which is what he's doing. As you can see, it's it's just a dated colonial home, right? It's going to need cosmetic work to put a tenant in there, right? It's a solid home, but it's dated, right? It looks like a little old lady home, this bathroom, this kitchen. You know, they're both super dated, right? You got all the paint, you know, come off the wall right here. So it is definitely not a $100,000 house. But the bones appear to be good. There's, like, not even a surround in the shower, right? We need to do a surround, things of that nature. I mean, we got to do the whole thing top to bottom cosmetically, right? So what I think we can do is just put a ballpark estimate on it of twenty five k. For $25,000, my team, we could go and refinish the hardwoods, repaint the entire thing because obviously it needs paint go with an agreeable gray paint get that trim white put in a new modern kitchen in a modern bathroom right doing all of that we will have a rental property that is attractive to section 8 tenants this is a 4-2 so we'll be able to get section 8 tenants in there at 1100 a month 13,200 a year right if you run the normal metrics, the normal performance estimates that I always do on these shows, that means you're going to make an NOI of approximately $6,924. You can, you can uh, safely assume that under reasonable circumstances, that will be your return, right? But then, of course, there's price. And how do you get this whole thing, this $100,000 house that ain't worth $100,000, how do you get it for no money down? That's where the seller financing comes in. This seller has said that he will offer seller financing. Guys, 
Seller financing is awesome. For those of you that don't know what seller financing is, it's the greatest freaking gig in the world, right? I buy probably two or three million dollars a year of seller finance properties. What it is is the seller acts as the bank, right? In a normal circumstance, let's say you're buying a normal property as a non-owner occupied investor buyer. Let's say it's a hundred thousand dollar property for easy math. You as the buyer need to come up with your down payment, which is typically going to be twenty five percent. So you come down with twenty five thousand. The bank loans you seventy-five thousand. Then the seller gets all that. They walk away clean with their hundred k minus commissions and closing costs, of course, right? In a seller finance scenario, seller wants to sell the property for a hundred k. You put down your down payment. Easy math. Let's just say it's still twenty-five thousand dollars. And then instead of a bank giving you that seventy-five k, the seller lets you pay him off monthly. As uh, a regular mortgage, he puts a mortgage on it. So if you don't pay, he'll be able to foreclose on you the same way your bank would. Okay, so that's seller finance deal, right? So you get sellers that are willing to offer seller financing every once in a while because a they want to sell their property for a price that is just not going to happen on the regular market, which is what we have here, right? Ain't nobody buying this for a hundred thousand uh, dollars in a regular cash or finance transaction. It's just not going to happen, right? Number two, you get people that want to sell their property seller finance because uh, they're distressed. They need some repairs. This property needs about twenty-five thousand dollars worth of repairs to make it, uh, you know, appealing to our tenant base. So that falls under this as well. So a third option, a third reason, by the way, is also uh, sellers want to avoid paying all their capital gains taxes at once, right? That's another option, right? So those are the reasons sellers want to do seller financing. Buyers love seller financing because you can get properties for no money down. There's no rules with seller financing, right? W with lenders, it's always going to be 25% down, no matter how cool of a salesman you are, or how slick you think you are, or how good of a talker you are, or how good your relationships and your networking skills are. It don't matter. The bank don't care. They're just checking off boxes, right? All the mortgages, they got to come under the same general underwriting guidelines. They're all being sold on the secondary market to Fannie and Freddie, right? So it's, we all got to play under the same rules. When you go seller financing, though, guys, it's all about your ability to negotiate with the seller. What type of win-win arrangement can you work out? And by the way, guys, if you want to do seller finance deals, they are in hot demand. Obviously, every buyer in the world wants to try to buy properties with no money down. We have access to those seller finance deals for you guys. So if you go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, Scroll down past our Investment Properties for Sales show in this show and click here for your direct MLS access, guys. And uh, you can get direct real-time MLS feeds to seller finance deals. I broke them up into three categories for you guys. Single-family homes, multi-family homes, and then the big dogs, the commercial buildings, five-unit apartment buildings and up. You're going to see more of these types of investments being offered with seller financing than you will with the duplexes and the singles because once you get up to that stage you know pretty much everybody's an investor and everybody's you know trying to make money and everybody's open to more creative ways of doing things and the financing uh, the commercial financing space is much different than the residential financing space right those are always going to be loans based upon the buyer's ability to pay back the loan with no rental income where these are going to be based upon the building's ability to generate revenue. In addition, uh, terms are, are going to vary widely between lender. Down payments necessary can vary between lender, between building. Amortization schedules can vary. Uh, interest rates, it all varies. So it's like the wild, wild west. So you can really get creative in the commercial space, right? So if you guys want access to all that stuff for a very cheap price, uh, go ahead and order yourself the MLS uh Real-time feeds, you get the direct broker access from me. The moment a seller finance deal goes on the market, listed by any of the 5,000 agents in my MLS, you get access, right? So we're talking weeks or months before these properties pop up on Zillow or Realtor.com. Not to mention, you can't just search out the seller finance deals on Zillow or Realtor.com. So I made it as easy as possible for you guys to get access to that. And once you get that access, guys, it's lifetime access. And uh, you can go directly to those sellers and negotiate or you can come here and I will give you my opinion and then I will represent you as your real estate broker in the sale, right? So that's what my man Jay is doing. And Jay, let's talk about my specific plan for how to get you this property, no money down, right? This dude wants 100K. Well, that's freaking nuts, Jay, because the property is worth 55. It's worth $55,000 in its current state, right? So 55K is what it's worth. 
That's what I want you to buy it for with no money down. Then I want to put in 25K, meaning we're going to have an $80,000 investment. So how do we convince the seller to take 55K, which is what the property is worth, and finance the whole freaking investment when this clown thinks he's going to get 100K? That's where we use the financing to create a win-win, Jay. Go back to HoltonWise.com, guys. Go to the Tools and Resources tab. You click on the Mortgage Calculator, right? 55000 okay, and we want to get a 30-year loan, and let's go ahead and offer Mr. Seller a 5% interest. Sounds much better than like 3 or 4 right? So we go ahead and offer him $55,000, Mr. Seller. Mr. Seller wants ninety nine 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 nine, but the house is only 55000 So what we're going to do, we're going to negotiate it, and we're going to package it beautifully. We're going to give him this beautiful amortization calculator. We're going to say, hey, Mr. Seller, screw it. You want $99,999? We are going to offer you $106,290.68 over 360 months. We're going to give you 360 payments of two ninety five twenty five. dollars Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. That is a win-win situation. That's how you create these win-win deals, guys, because the seller already asking double what the property's really worth. We're going to come in and offer him like six, seven grand, even higher than that. Maybe that makes him happy. It ha it may maybe that makes him happy. It should make you happy, Jay, because if we're all into this thing for 80, we get that Section 8 tenant in there. It's an 8.7 cap. It should result in a 13.5% cash on cash return because, yes, we did get the property no money down. But don't forget, dog, you still got to put that 25k into it to actually fix it up, right? So I took the net cash flow after the mortgage, which is 3,384 and divided that by your repair budget, which would be 25000 But that is a great way to create an, a win-win situation. You win because you get a fully renovated rental property, kicking off a 13.5% return on your investment, and you didn't put a single penny down on the property to take it down. Mr. Seller wins because Mr. Seller just secured himself $106,000 out of a $55,000 property, right? That's how you create a win-win, guys. Now, again, back to the original caveat. Doesn't happen all the time. This Mr. Seller, you know, he listed his property, which is worth 55 for 100. So I don't know. The guy might be freaking crazy. He might see this win-win and be like, no, I don't want to do that. I want you to put $70,000 down, and then I'll loan you the other 30000 Obviously, that deal would be terrible. You wouldn't do that deal. It makes no goddamn sense, right? That's the thing. With seller finance deals, there are no rules. So you have the ability to try to negotiate win-wins, try to get sellers to see your way of thinking, how they can accomplish their goals, you can accomplish their goals. But sellers also have no rules, so they have the ability to be idiots, right? There's nothing stopping him from being an unreasonable idiot. And you have to, in this business, work with idiots, right? Of all the properties I've bought in my lifetime, I deal with idiots all day, every day. Idiot buyers, idiot sellers, idiot tenants, right? It's part of the game. This is a numbers game, guys. That's why when you guys order the MLS search and analysis products from us, we always push you guys towards the bigger packages, and we discount them for you because this is a long-term game, right? It's not about just analyzing one property, right? Like if I tell you guys, yo, seller finance it's awesome i could work out a seller finance deal for you you could buy a property no money down yeah you could probably do that but that doesn't mean you just look at one property and then boom you just do that you might have to look at analyze do due diligence and negotiate with 10 20 30 sellers before you actually get the deal to work right that is what the other gurus and all that stuff that's what they don't like to tell you they tell you what's possible and they make you feel like if you just buy their training or their education it's just going to happen boom 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 that's not real life expectation that's not a probable expectation in real life in real life yes it can happen but it's a numbers game you're going to have to swing and miss a whole lot of times before you actually work out one that could work so jay if you'd like to make the offer on this property using the strategy i have outlined for you just reply to the private email and my team will write that up and if the seller doesn't take it well guess what buddy we'll be moving on to the next one and the next one and the next one because this is a numbers game 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.